Assume that the time between arrivals of customers at a particular bank is exponentially distributed with a mean of four minutes. So before we actually look at the questions, let's just think about what we're told. We're told that mu is equal to four, four minutes. The other thing that we would know a remark upon is that there's another thing called lambda and lambda is the rate parameter and it's also quite important uh, so lambda is the rate parameter it's equal to 1 over mu and that is equal to 1 over 4 okay now, additionally, just to sort of, you might sort of spot it down here at the end of the page. This is actually the same equation in reverse. Mu equals 1 over lambda. So the rate parameter and lambda, the rate parameter lambda and the mean mu are in first and like uh, one uh, are reciprocals of each other. Okay. That's an important, that's just an important step. Now, the reason is because sometimes the, uh, wait, here is an expression from, here is a formula from the back of the exam paper. And in this particular case, it's actually given in terms of mu, but in other cases, that might be given in terms of lambda. And when you're, so the equivalent expression for the top one, you might so, so sometimes see this instead, minus k lambda. Okay, that's the reason why I, it's important to mention both mu and lambda. Okay, so the the yeah again the two expressions are directly equivalent to each other. Um, just a slight change of notation. Okay, so that's important. So, um, find the probability that time between arrivals is greater than five minutes. Okay, well let's just look at this here again. We're told that the probability of x less than or equal to k, x is the uh, time between arrivals, capital X, time between arrivals, that's what it means, and what is the probability of x greater than or equal to 5? Okay, that's what we're asked here in this question, x greater than or equal to 5. Now, we can use this formula here, probability of x less than or equal to k, and just find the reciprocal, or the complement of that. So, here we have it up here again. So, the probability of x less than or equal to 5, let's just work that one out first. We're going to use the top formula here, as long as k is greater than or equal to 0. Yeah, k is equal, greater than or equal to 0, it's 5, so we can use that one. That is 1 minus e to the power of minus 5, k is 5, divided by 4, okay? Just as a remark, if you were doing that lambda, uh, k times lambda, you actually get the exact same thing right there, okay? So, this is just a little bit of calculation work now. So, that's equal to 1 minus the exponential of minus 1.25, calculator, and that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.2865 and that is equal to 0 0.7135 okay so that is probably x less than or equal to 5 the probability the complement uh, of that probability of x greater than or equal to 5 equals 1 minus 0 0.7135 and that is equal to 0 0.2865. I've actually done it the, the long way here. I've de deliberately done it a long way just to sort of show you something that this is actually equal to e to the power of minus k over lambda. So in general, this is not actually given in the formula, but it's actually the idea of the complement rule that it, the reason wasn't given is like if you're, if you're reasonably uh, uh, wise to it, you can actually say this directly. That the uh, probability of x greater than or equal to k is e to the power of minus k over lambda. Or actually just using the alternative notation, k times, sorry, e k divided by mu or k times lambda.
So, so the answer to the first one there is not point two eight six five. Okay. Uh, find the uh, probably find the probably find the probability that the time between arrivals is between one minute and four minutes. Okay. So let's break this up first into two parts. So probability. Let's actually just write that out. What we're being asked here. So it's between one minute and four minutes. So the probability probability of being between of x being between one and four. Okay. So this is um, an interval probability, and what I'm going to use, do here is use the uh, too high, too low approach. So the probability of being inside an interval like we have up there is 1 minus the probability of being outside the interval and if you're outside the interval you're either too high to be outside the or, or too low so that's equal to 1 minus the joint uh, probability of too high plus the probability of too low It's a very simple but perfectly um, perfectly logically robust uh, way of doing things. So that is equal to, what's the probability of being too high? 1 minus uh, probability of too high, here it is 4 minutes, x greater than or equal to 4, and the probability of being too low is less than 1, So the prob plus the probability of x less than or equal to 1. So what we have to do here is calculate both of these, add them together and subtract from 1. So, probability of x being greater than or equal to 4, that is equal to, I'm actually going to use that uh, that uh, expression there I used previously, that it, that is equal to the probability of minus 4 divided by 4, that's the exponential of minus 1 e to the power of minus 1, and that is equal to, let's just check my calculator, not point three six seven eight. Now, the probability of x less than or equal to 1, that is equal to 1 minus the exponential of 1 divided by 4, again using this formula up here. Uh, actually, just I'll just sort of be clear again for with regards to uh, the first one there that the probability of x being greater than k is just e to the power of minus k over mu. Okay, so it's the complement that the, the these two expressions are the complements of each other. This expression here and this expression here. So I just I mentioned a few minutes ago, but just again to repeat it. This is equal to the exponential of uh, minus 0.25. That again is a bit of calculator work, and that works out to be 0.7788. So it is one minus 0.7788, and that is equal to 0.2112. Sorry, two two one two. Okay, so the probability of being outside the interval is the sum of those two together, and that is equal to not point five eight nine zero. So the probability of being inside the interval is equal to one minus probability being outside 0 0.5890 and that is equal to 0 0.4110. So the probability, let's write it here now, the probability of being between 1 and 4 equals 0 0.4110. So that ends this presentation on the exponential distribution.